Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I thought I'd uh, make a quick video here, kind of show you how exactly you can go about getting these smart notebook galleries installed on your Mac. That way you can use some of the extra tools that are available in smart notebook. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and actually open up notebook, which makes sense. Um, however, uh, I've had a lot of people actually ask why the, these smart galleries are not in self-service. Um, you know, why are they not built into the regular install that you do when you download Smart Notebook? Um, well, normally, sometimes um, these notebook files can add a, not like a huge amount of space to the main install, but they can add some and they can make it take up a little bit more space than, uh, than normal and kind of make that install last a little bit longer. Um, so we've decided just to make a video to show you how you can go about getting them if you need them. Uh, and first place we're going to go is we're going to go right over here to the uh, little gallery icon, the little picture frame. And if we click on it, we'll have a list here of uh, different things. We'll have uh, gallery essentials, oops, uh, gallery essentials, lesson activity toolkit, lesson activity examples. And they break it down into uh, pictures, interactive media, notebook files and pages, backgrounds and themes, just all types of different um, templates and um, items that you can go ahead and put. Our themes so I can have this like on all my pages but there's this is just one of many if you want to be able to install multiple ones you're just gonna go ahead and click this little wrench at least that's what I call it and right over here where it says check for updates you'll get two sections you'll get lesson activity toolkit and gallery essentials so if I click on one it takes a few seconds here and it may prompt me for my password it's the same password that you use to sign in to pretty much everything and it'll go ahead and open up where we can choose so here, um, you'll see where it says Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. I can get the latest one. I can choose multiple languages if I want, uh, and I would just click Next. I already have all of them, so there's nothing for me to download. However, if I go back over, go into the wrench, check for updates, Gallery Essentials, where I can find these pictures and whatnot. It makes me log in once more. And then I'm gonna be presented with uh, a long list here broken down by subject so that you can go ahead and download uh, just the gallery essentials that pertain to you. That way you don't have to worry about having uh, certain subjects that you may not want. So let's say perhaps, now I happen to have them all, which is why it says zero over here. Um, but maybe if I just want math, I can go ahead and uh, pull out everything else and just leave math. Or if you wanted all of them, you can get them all. And if you're gonna be using the Smart Notebook Gallery Essentials, I feel like it makes sense to have them all. Just because just, just because one theme or setting might only be what they consider appropriate for geography, you very well might be able to use it in uh, either history or technology class or English. Um, I mean, take them all um, and then find out kind of which ones work best for you. But that's how you go through and install the Smart, Note, Smart Notebook Lesson Activity Toolkit as well as the Gallery Essentials. And as always, if you have any questions, just shoot us an email uh, over at tech at sch.org or even better, open up a ticket by visiting tech.sch.org and making a new ticket right there.